Charlotte, North Carolina is ranked last in terms of economic upward mobility. And Atlanta, Georgia is second to last in terms of economic upward mobility nationally. My name is Devin Martin. I was born and raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. My name is Jamal Covington and I grew up in the metro Atlanta area. See, growing up in the metro Atlanta area, I saw a lot of different things. I saw how people and communities within the metro Atlanta area were deprived of the resources that they needed to be successful. Growing up, I shared the same experiences. At the high school that I went to, the textbooks that we were given were often damaged and the pages would even be ripped out of them. So from an early age, I was set up for failure. So Devin, what is social economic upward mobility? Essentially, it's your chances of coming out of poverty if you was born in poverty. So in Charlotte, North Carolina, if you was born in poverty here, you're at least likely to breach out of poverty here than anywhere else in the nation. We work with SHARP, the Charlotte Action Research Project, who serve as the liaison between the community and the university, which serve as a tool to put back those resources in these communities, which they are deprived of. So Jamal, what is GIS? What is GIS? Yes. GIS is the forerunner for many major mobile applications that we all love to use on a daily basis, such as when you're trying to get from point A to point B, you might use a major mapping application such as Google Maps. When you're trying to get uptown on a Saturday night, you might use Uber. It's also the forerunner for the major gaming craze that's going on right now, Pokemon Go. Gotta catch them all, right? So with this being said, geographic information systems in layman terms is a visualization of the linkages and connections between different types of data. So exactly how can GIS be used to promote sustainable communities? How can GIS be used to promote sustainable communities? Yes. See, we've created a mobile application that plots out different points and assets within the Enderley Park community. Our application menu layout visualizes accessibility, infrastructure issues, housing conditions, and a lot more. We came up with the deliverables using the three steps research development methods process, which one, involves participant observations in the form of interviews, two, social concerns voiced by community stakeholders, and three, the windshield survey, which we use to test our prototype and the effectiveness of the app. And this all ties back into the concept of economic upper mobility because we're trying to emulate cities such as Washington, D.C. and Salt Lake City. These cities have a track record of having mixed communities and demographics, which means if you have low income tax bracket or high income tax bracket, you stay within the same community, which means you have access to the same resources. With this app, we are pivoting against the social injustices experienced here in Charlotte so that we can put back these resources within the communities so that we can emulate cities such as Washington, D.C. and Salt Lake City. So tying everything together, with the map that we've created, the Charlotte Action Research Project, and the Charlotte Mecklenburg Planning Commission, we are able to create a sustainable atmosphere that will promote sustainable change within the communities and people that we come into contact with on a daily basis. We feel as though we've created an app that is not only purposeful, but is very, very, very powerful. There's a quote by Fernand Falk that says, the most powerful weapon on earth is the human soul on fire. So with the app that we've created, it's important for each and every one of us as human beings to follow our passion, which fuels our purpose to create sustainable change in the communities that we come into contact with on a daily basis. We're launching this app here in Charlotte, North Carolina, in the, in the Enderley Park community.